السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ولو هلال فاملي ويلكم تو ذا تشين Usually this is done by a professional mining company, the second is traditional gold mining which is generally carried out by the community. Although this traditional gold mining activity has been carried out by the people of Indonesia for a long time, it turns out that there are still many who feel unfamiliar with all the information about this. One example of a non-renewable natural resource is gold. Indonesia is one of the countries as the largest gold producer in the world. The territory is spread evenly, from Sabang to Merauke. The areas in Indonesia that produce gold include Mulaba in Aceh, Batangtoru in North Sumatera, Petapat in Gunung Tor and Logas in Riau. Sambas in West Kalimantan, Sikotok in Banten, Bolong Mongandau in North Sulawesi, Mount Pongkor in West Java, Rijang Labang in Bengkulu, and Tembagapura in Papua. Regions in Indonesia that have recorded gold mines include North Sumatra, West Aceh, Lebak in West Java, Banyuwangi in East Java, South Lampung, Kapis in central Kalimantan, Sumba Island in west Nusa Tenggara, Bengkulu and Papua. On average, each region is capable of producing gold weighing up to tens of millions of ounces. Even in gold-producing areas in Papua, gold mining can produce gold weighing up to 240 kilograms per day. This people's gold mining activity is carried out either individually or in groups, depending on land ownership and capital. Some only work as miners. There are also those who simultaneously process gold ore. Women workers are also often involved in this activity. 
for example in the rock crushing process, including in the gold processing process. How to identify gold producing areas. The basic identification method to find out whether a place or region can be called a gold producing area is somewhat difficult. You need to understand the characteristics of the soil to determine if an area has gold deposits. Soil containing gold has the following characteristics. 1. Contains sulfide minerals. 2. Close to the volcano. 3. There is a cliff wall. 4 has special flora characteristics. If you find all of the above characteristics, there is a possibility that the area has the potential to become a gold producing area. However, it's just a feature as a basic identification only. For more accurate results, you should do a soil content test and a series of other tests. Look at the traditional Indonesian gold miners, very excited, looking for gold, even if it's cloudy. Fighting spirit to support his family by looking for gold. Are you interested in this job? Not everyone has the opportunity to look for gold. This job must have a strong physique, cold hold, and unyielding spirit. Come on, let's see how the gold in this location is found. Watch the video until it's finished. Location of gold The soil here is brownish pink in color, with very unique sedimentary rocks. Surrounded by hills and forest. Really really amazing. This is really a traditional Indonesian gold search. Traditional gold prospecting job on a cloudy morning. Come on. Let's take a closer look at how to find gold using this 8 horsepower petrol robin engine. This is a sluice box that has been covered with carpet to collect gold. Flowing in this sluice box, gold will be accommodated in this place. will be washed away by the water flow into the sluice box. All stone materials, sand and earth will pass through this sluice box. Dot and gold will stay in this place that has been carpeted.
The job of dissolving the material is almost done. Come on, we'll see. How do these workers with high fighting spirit work? Material dissolving work is done. Next job is to wash the carpet. To take gold. The carpets are collected one by one to be washed. The carpet is washed on a non-leaking plastic sheeting. Carpets are washed clean, so that the gold that is on the carpet goes down to the shelter. Carpet washing is done with great care. The carpet is washed in turns to keep it clean. The process of washing this carpet takes quite a long time so that the carpet is clean. And no more gold grains left behind. This process can spend up to 30 to an hour. Look at the carpet washing process just finished. Look at the iron sand stored after washing. Gold grains stored in it. The next process is panning. Panning iron sand mixed with mud and gold. Iron sand, mud mixed with gold under the panning gold place by lifting it. Here it is. Where to pan for gold? The tray used is a pan made of plastic.
The process of panning for gold begins by taking little by little the material to be panned, so that gold is not wasted. Done very carefully with great patience. Let's see the results. Is there a lot of gold? It turns out that this location contains a lot of gold. Amazing. Really best traditional gold mine location. Just one panning. The most expensive gold granules get. That's the next job, panning again, until the iron sand, mud and gold are cleaned with pan. It turns out the result is the same as the first panning.